Embracing the beauty of Ndebele art, we delve into the captivating world of Dr. Esther Mahlangu. This week, the team caught up with one artist who's taking her work forward and explores the visions and inspiration behind Waterfall City's stunning new mural. Dr. Esther Mahlangu, a well-known Debele artist and national treasure, has spent a life preserving and promoting the rich cultural heritage of the Ndebele people. The iconic murals characterized by geometric patterns, bold colors, and intricate designs have become synonymous with South African art. As we admire the power of art, culture, and community, we are honored to talk to one of the artists who brought Dr. Esther Mashangu's legacy to life in vibrant colors and celebrate her first mural recently unveiled at Waterfall City. My name is Kumbala Masango. Uh, what sparked my creativity in this uh, art of Isindebele is because at the first place, Amandebele, they were doing this for their families and friends. They didn't take it to business. So what sparks most I've seen lately, Amandebele, they are behind with many things and they have good craft. So I started this uh, to showcase it on Facebook until it leads me to this bigger vision as we see at my background. So most of the thing that makes me, I want to take it in the valley to a business and to the world. When I start my journey, when I used to attend the SAPC on, uh, in Johannesburg, people they ask me about this attire. They say, where you can we find this attire of Amandeville? Oh, at the mere space we use when we go to Jobek, we bring some techies, we bring some t-shirts, we bring all those things. That's when it started and then now I'm extending myself uh, to go to murals and paint interior, um, jewelries, etc, etc. Back then at home, this thing, it's, it's, it's a community thing, it's a cultural thing, it's not an art that you have to go to school for. Uh, as I mentioned before that, uh, I took it from my grandmothers. From my father's side and my mother's side, they were doing the same craft. So then, what I can say, it's more spiritually, it's more culturally. The experience that I get there, it's more spiritually. They, they send you the colors, they send you the design. That's why even I, I find myself doing the 3Ds that I don't know. Even if when I'm asking my teacher at school, I say, hey, he never taught me these things. Those angles that I'm doing here. So that's the, the, the inner thing about it. The Ma Maubana artists, well, right? We work well. Those guys, they inspired me and they were lovely to meet me because we learn from each other. As you see, they are doing abstract like I do, they do graphic like I do. So they are inspired. Wherever they are, they will be happy to see that uh, now this thing is going uh, globally and other stuff. Their work is great. I'm willing to work with them. But then what I learn, they are happy to work with me. And I'm happy to meet them because there's some of the things that I didn't know. They taught me and then I, I give some of my stuff to them. So next time when we collaborate, we're going to do a big thing. Ndebele culture, known for its vibrant aesthetics and resilience, has been a source of inspiration for artists globally. The Ndebele people's history, traditions and customs are intricately woven into their art reflecting their experiences, struggles, and triumphs. As you know, Amanda Vela are people of colors. We create colors. We are the one who come with many primary colors and do it on our own. So the thing that I can say to express what I'm doing or tell you about my craft, my craft, uh, the, this art is from many people who are doing it are, are male, are females. So I'm the male one. I learn from those male ones. So when I'm getting to the space, because me, I went to school, I learned mathematics and geography and trigonometry. So what I did there, uh, I added a 3D on this art. That was the most unique part of me. You can see even the t-shirts that I wear, they are more graphic and abstract. I like a, a, a complicated thing. So that's, that's the thing that I can say, the unique of Skumbala's art than the ones uh, other Mandebele are doing. They, they are standard. Mine, it's more of a 3D and I'm, I'm ready to extend in any scale that I can find in the world and the technology way it's moving. I'm, I'm going with it with this art. Remember when you put something, say African, people when they come to Africa, they will want to visit. They will want to see the, the craft of Africans. So this, what I did here, 
it shows the Ndebele nation, Amanzunza, from Gwantebele, and then they once stay here in, in Midrand. So I'm putting their print back here. With the, this is your location, guys. And it, it, it will add on saying all the tourists, we're talking about October, it's a tourist month. People, they will come and see this thing. And then I know it's beautiful. They can take pictures. They can come and do music videos, whatever they want to do here. And then it's nice. So another thing I can count, even if we are at home, if you feel I want to see a Ndebele printed, come to Africa Mall. Don't waste your money and go to Ndebele. I bring it home. As a man artist, I used to take my time and sit down with all those who are doing this art and share knowledge. There's a lot inside this. Colors they do speak, shapes they do speak, shapes they're taken from something that was civilized and bring it home. At first, what I can tell you, for an example, back in me, you can see this treaty. Some of them look like stays. So they take those things because back in the days we were staying in the, in the farms. So the Ukrainians, when they go to fetch some wood and go to maybe do the field, they will see these poles far away, like the mines, like the, the, the rails, uh, train rails. And then they will bring that information and put it on the mural and give some little stories. They say, no, when we are far away from the mountains, we used to see this thing. They are coming. Remember back in the days, it, when you want to see a flat, you have to go to town. So the grannies, when they saw them, they put those structures and put it on the mirror and teach their kids what's happening outside of this uh, community. So this art, it's speaking. Uh, in our culture, if uh, there's a widow, there's a, there's a art that they are doing, there are colors that they use. If uh, um, this woman is married, there's an art that we are doing, and then there's colors that we are using. Uh, if we are, now we are going to the corporal world. People's, when we are talking about mines, gold, blood, uh, and unite, we use the yellow color for gold, we use red for maybe if that thing they fought for, and then we use blue for unite, we use maroon for honor, we use um, the green for the greener pastures and the green land that we have as Africans. Started that movement wearing, dressing like uh, Koko Estamasangu. We met and then we sit, we talk, I share a lot of stuff. What I can tell you, Koko did a great thing. Remember, this art was not selling. Well, we didn't do that for selling. We're doing it for us. Dr. Masangu's artistry has not only helped to preserve Ndebele culture, but has also bridged the cultural divides, making it accessible and appreciated worldwide. A collaboration with international brands and artists has introduced Ndebele art to new audiences, cementing its place in contemporary art. For Morning Life, I'm Agrumen Mabasom.